Yeah. Okay, what is up, guys? We are back with the mock draft 1.0, 2.0, actually, first round. Quentin Williams first pick, quick with his hands, good hands. Uh, he can run into gaps that the offensive line has created, and he is just a dominant, and he is one of the best players in the draft. Definitely the bad, the bad, the best um, defensive lineman, not defensive lineman, D tackle in this draft, and it's pretty clear they're not drafting Kyler Murray. And actually, can we fix that, please? Ah, ping it. Oh, well, you guys are gonna have to deal with that. So, um, yeah, he's really quick. Number two, actually, we have Nick Bosa to the 49ers. This has no trades in it. Nick Bosa is really quick, really good, best player in this draft, maybe. The reason why I didn't have him going number one was because. They have Terrell Suggs and Chandler Jones, and that's just already really good. Why get Nick Bosa when you have Quinn and William? Well, you don't have Quinn and Williams yet, but you know. Also, we have a like if you guys want to 2.0. Three is Josh Allen. Yeah, I mean, he's just too good. Linebacker or edge rusher, whatever he's going to play, he is good. And I uh, in my opinion, he might be better than Nick Bosa, which probably not, but he might be. But, you know, he's good. And he's going to the Jets, who actually got dope new uniforms. Number four, Kyler Moore. Kyler Murray. Murray. Kyler Murray to the Raiders. Kyler Murray. Kyler. I'm sorry about that. Kyler Murray is a great quarterback. He has an arm. He has a leg. Dwayne Haskins has an arm. He doesn't have a leg. <laughs> I know that for sure. And I think Kyler Murray is the best quarterback in this draft. And he goes number four to the Raiders. Um, I actually use this website called the Draft Network. Network. Sorry, I can't speak. The draftnetwork.com. It basically makes your mock drafts um, a lot easier to make and stuff. So, yeah, shout out to them. Number five is Devin White, linebacker. He's going to the Bucks, And Devin White is out of LSU. And he is... LSU, I feel like, always has a good defense every year. I just feel like that. I mean, I don't know if it's true. But that's how I feel. But, yeah, then again, I could be wrong. Uh, he's probably the best linebacker in this draft. There also is Dem Bush, also from LSU. And he's just a really good. He's, he was, uh, I think he, he's also a good tackler and good in coverage, stuff like that. He is good. And number six, Jawan Taylor. Now, the... The reason why I have him getting Juwan Taylor instead of Dwayne Haskins is they also have that 17th overall pick. But okay, yeah. Juwan Taylor is the best tackle in this draft. It's Juwan Taylor, Jonah Williams. I feel like Juwan Taylor's better, but then again, I, I yeah, he is actually. He's good with run blocking, pass blocking, blocking, blocking. Um, you know, he's really good. I don't know. I, there's literally no, I don't think he has any problems. And number seven, speaking of Dwayne Haskins, he's going to the Jaguars. See, most, some people, most people actually don't think that he's going to go to the Jaguars, but I think he, he, he is good. He is really good. He has an arm, no leg. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I just think he's good because... Everyone thinks he's good, though. But, like, going to the Jags when they already have Nick Foles is kind of like, okay, so I have a feeling that it might be the thing with, like, Wentz or Foles, and they're probably going to have a battle to see who has that starting spot. Now, moving on to eight, we have Rashawn Gary Edge out of Michigan. Great player actually going to eight for the Lions. He's going to be phenomenal. And he has good hands, powerful pushing. He's really powerful. And, you know, he's edge Michigan. <laughs> I'm sorry. And at number nine, Montez Sweat. Now, if Montez Sweat went to the Lions, then I could see the um, them getting 
DK Metcalf, but I don't see that here. I see them getting Montez Sweat, you know. He is really explosive, just like Nick Bosa and stuff. He's not, he, you can't compare, compare Montez Sweat to Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa is a boss compared to Montez Sweat. Well, he's a boss compared to most people. But number 10, we do have Drew Locke going to the Broncos. They did pick up, did they pick up? Yeah, they got Joe Flacco. I mean, he struggles with accuracy just like almost everyone in the dra in the graph. He has, he doesn't have really good decision making. It's like, he can make some throws, and that's why he goes 10th overall. And, you know, he's out of Missouri. Noah Fan goes 11 now. Earlier in the draft process thingy, I had him going early. I had him going in the second round, second or third round. But I'm surprised that I put him at 11. He's really fast. He is fast for a tight end. And I, you know, I just, you know, yeah. At number 12, TJ Hawkinson. TJ Hawkinson is the, and he's going to the Packers. Both of these past tight ends have been out of Iowa. He's just really a great player to, to even pass up on, so he's the best tight end in this draft. And he's going to the Packers, because Jimmy Graham was pretty much a disappointment. At number 13, DK Metcalf gets drafted by the Minna. Miami Dolphins. DK Metcalf is the best receiver in the draft. We all know this. And he is, he, his verticals. He ran a 4.33, so yeah. And at 14, Brian Burns edge. People say he goes second round. I won't be surprised. He's not really a steal, but he's a good run stopper. Uh, number 15, Devin Bush. We were talking about him earlier. Wait, Devin Bush? Hold on. Oh, I thought Devin Bush was out of the LSU. Oh no, he's out of Michigan. Okay, wait no, this is Devin Bush Jr. Where I think he, I don't know, I'm so dumb. But yeah, that is, that's him, yeah, that's him. So he is Devin Bush. So he goes to uh, 15 to the Redskins, and yeah, no, he's a good, good linebacker. And number 16, A.J. Brown goes to the Panthers. They got D.J. Moore, and that's really all they have. They And Cam Newton? Is actually, I think he is gonna play this year, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he's a good receiver. Um, at number 17, we have Daniel Jones going to the Giants. Uh, guess who got picked number seven overall? Dwayne Haskins. So they go Daniel Jones. He's really bad, but you know he, they'll take whatever they can get to probably get, you know. Get rid of Eli Manning. At number 18, the Vikings go Paris Campbell. Now, Paris Campbell's actually good. He has good hands, good route running. Really good. Really good. Okay. Next is Greedy Williams. He's going to 19. I don't know if you consider this a steal or not, but um, yeah. He goes to Titans. He's a he's the best cornerback in this draft for sure, for sure. And his man coverage, you know, ball skills, ball skills, ball hawk, LSU defense is good. Um, they got, they had Patrick Peterson, right, and Tyron Matthew, and Odell. Um, yeah, so at 20, I think the Steelers get, yeah, they get Antonio Brown's cousin, Marquise Brown, Lee. Um, so Marquise Brown is probably the second or third best receiver in this draft but I mean you know now so without that said at number 21 to the Seahawks goes Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver is another good D tackle that you can't really he I think he was in his junior year right yeah junior junior yeah. so after his junior said he says I'm declaring for the draft let's get it I go 21st overall 21 overall to the Seahawks. At number two, Quillen Farrell, edge rusher out of Clemson. He is good. I mean, his quickness is probably the best edge rusher from Clemson this draft. I think he's the only edge rusher from Clemson. I'm not sure. Well, he goes to the Ravens. In the Ravens' defense, they got rid of Terrell Suggs. They're going to have to fix that. They got rid of C.J. Mosley. They got rid of, I don't know who else, but they need to, yeah, they need to get 
good players. At 23, Chase Winovich goes to the Texans. He's an edge rusher. He's not a highly explosive athlete. He can be slow off the ball, but he is really good and elite rusher. I think, yeah, edge out of Michigan. No, he's really underrated, but yeah. At 24, Byron Murphy, the cornerback, goes to Oakland, soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. Um, he's really good balanced and second best cornerback in this draft, um, I think. Second or third, I'm not sure. But speaking of cornerbacks, the Eagles at 25 get DeAndre Baker out of Georgia. Um, DeAndre Baker, you know, he's pretty much, he's also really good. He has good hands, good coverage. Crap. My brother doesn't know crap about football. So, shut up, Annan. So, yeah, he's good. Good, good, good. He's better than Annan would be. <laughs> okay, at number 26, Jonah Williams. Offensive tackle. Quentin Nelson did good for the Colts, so Jonah Williams would probably be good. I consider him a steal at 26, actually. And uh, he's just, he is good. I'll tell you that. He is great. So, Jonah Williams goes to Colts. At number 27, I think another steal, Joshua Jacobs. Uh, running back, he goes to the Raiders at 27, out of, out of Alabama. And, you know, he's, pro he's probably the best running back out of this whole class, so... Yeah, nice. Steal at 27. At 28, Rock is in, cornerback. Uh, he's good still, you know. He goes to Chargers, and he's out of Tempe, or Temple. Tempe, I think. I don't know. No, it's not Tempe. I'm retarded. I don't know. I'm dumb. Um, you know, great, great cornerback. He has a good, good uh, man coverage. He's aggressive player, and he's going to do good with the Chargers because... They, their defense is good, but they need to upgrade on that. Ow, ow, hold on. Chargers going to the Super Bowl, baby. Oh, he's trash. Chargers are trash. He just got a cornerback. At 29, Mac Wilson, linebacker, goes to Chiefs. He's out of Alabama. <coughs> and he's bad, actually. Holy crap. He says, hold on, I thought he was good. Hold on. He says, Keith and diagnosis, super disappointed to see a little growth in areas of I think he's recording. I think he's bad. And, uh, Andre Dillard, offensive tackle, goes to the Packers. You know, he's not the best offensive tackle in this draft. Um, uh, you know, good, good, good. At number 31, Greg Whittle. Offensive tackle. I think Greg Little might be better than Andre Dillard or Dillard. Eh, yeah, good. I just want to get this done. At 32, the Super Bowl champs, uh, the Patriots, go with another tight end. Um, actually, my friend was telling me about this, that they might go Irv Smith Jr., and it looks like they are because they like the big people like Gronk because he retired. Uh, shout out to Gronk because, yeah. And that's it for the first round. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video. Subscribe. Bye.